Hello everyone. Welcome back to Workplace English Communication Contacts and Strategies. This is our final week on customer service. It's going to be a busy week because of the agenda. Let me show you the agenda today. As usual, I will start our lecture this week with a review on vocabulary and main ideas. Then we will move on to the remaining tips that we haven't tapped into by asking you to do some pre-reading activity, such as skimming and scanning. Then after you finish doing these warm-up exercise, I'm going to explain the remaining tips to improving customer service to you. Finally. We will wrap up the entire unit, which is the learning content, during these four weeks. Finally, I am going to assign you the second writing assignment. So the lecture today, you will also learn how to get the writing response to done. I hope you are ready. Let's get started. Please pause the lecture for about ten seconds to fifteen seconds to see if you can tell what these definition refer to. Okay, I assume you did what I asked you to do. Let's go over each one of them. The first one is an adjective. It means extremely important. So the word should be invaluable. Last week, I also remind you that the prefix in here isn't a negative prefix. It actually intensify the original meaning of a word. So, invaluable here means extremely important. And another example is inflammable. Okay, inflammable, which means can be set on fire easily. The second one is to con to include different types of things, so the verb is encompass. Okay, encompass, and then the third word is a noun. It means a popular word in the particular field, so the answer is buzzword. I hope you got these three words right. Let's move on to a bit a bit more. Uh. Take a look at these three definitions and try to pause the video to figure out the answers. Okay, I assume you did what I asked you to do again. Now let's take a look at the first word. It's a noun. It means a final line in the account of a company that states the total profit and loss. I remember showing you an image of an Excel file, right? So that's what we call a bottom line. The second one is also a noun. It refers to an occasion when a business and its customers are in contact. So, some examples of this would be telephone, email, and other other kinds of contacts. So this is what we call touch points. In business English, and finally, this word means a question. So the word is inquiry. Okay, and another synonym would be query. Okay, query, and it can also be spelled like e n q u i r y. Okay, this is the review of some of the important words. Now let's move on to a review on main ideas. Do you still remember what we covered last week? Have a look at these three questions to see if you can answer them. Pause the video for about one minute, and try not to go back to the reading. Okay, so I assume you did what I asked you to do. Let's go over these three questions. The first one. What is customer service generally and specifically? So, in the very beginning of the article, it tells us the general okay meaning of customer service. It 
states that customer service encompasses everything from the initial contact or closing of a sale to finally the handling of complaints. So when people talk about customer service, these are the things they associate with. But if we take a look at this term, customer service, more specifically, it is about building reputation of a company. And it is also about helping a company increase customer loyalty. And more importantly, to help companies bring in more sales. And by doing these things, ultimately, customers can also enjoy a superior experience in companies. Okay, so these are the general and specific explanation of what a customer service is. Second question, what role do the customers play in business? Customers are extremely important, or I should use the word that we just reviewed, are invaluable in businesses because they have a direct impact on the company's bottom line. How much a company earns and how much a company loses all depends on them, so they are crucial. Finally, how should companies knock down hurdles in customer service? So first of all, hurdle means obstacles. So when customers find problems of a company or of products, they usually need to uh, fill out some paperwork to get help. But this is very frustrating and usually make customers angry. So to do that, we need to offer them help as soon as possible. So we need to knock down those obstacles. So how can we do it? We need to set up different touch points so that they have several channels to help them solve problems. And by doing so, we can also speed up problem solving. OK, I hope you get all the questions in the review session right. If you did, then you are in the right place. If you didn't, no need to feel too frustrated. Just go back to our lectures previously. Watch it again, and I'm sure you will be there. OK, so last week we finished the first two tips demonstrating that the customer is important and establishing fast and user-friendly customer service. For today, we will talk about the remaining four tips. But before we tap into the new paragraphs, let me quickly walk through what we covered last week. So in the beginning, the introduction, we know the general definition of a customer service and what it includes. And the point of this article is it wants to show us a wider implications or a wider understanding of customer service. And it is going to tell us six tips to improving customer service. And the first tip is a reminder that the customer is the livelihood of every business. They have a direct impact on the company's bottom line. They are very important. And then the second tip is about knocking down all these walls in communication so that customers can solve their problems and get their messages across as soon as possible. Okay, so these are what we covered last week.